the Lakers completely demolished the Heat in Game 1, and in that process, Miami's best 3 players got hurt, so now all of a sudden, both Adebayo is listed as doubtful for Game 2, and Dragic could be out for the rest of the Finals. All of this combined with the already unique circumstances of playing in the bubble has been enough to fuel LeBron haters, and now they're saying that even if he wins it, this championship shouldn't count for him. Boy, are they wrong. Let me tell you why. What up everybody, my name is Stefan and this is Heat Check. Let's get into it. Before we even look at outside factors, let's just go over James' statistics in the playoffs. Sure, having Anthony Davis is great and he has been the leading scorer of this team, edging out the King by just 2.5 points per game, but with 10.5 rebounds and 9 assists per game, LeBron is pulling all the strings on this team and making it go. Just pause for a moment to think about this. He's almost 36 years old and close to averaging a triple triple double in the playoffs averaging a triple double at the biggest stage when teams are playing the hardest and toughest and are focused on stopping him do you realize that the third best scorer on this team is Kentavious Caldwell Pope with 10.1 points per game the same as Kuzma this is who the Lakers are relying on if you go past the dynamic duo and I think that's crazy and when you look at the games you see that he gets the wide open shots almost exclusively off of LeBron James double teams now let me point out a quote from the great ESPN writer Zach Lowe. Since we didn't get the Clippers vs Lakers battle that I'm sure all of us hoped for, as well as the matchup against the Greek Freak, the haters are now saying that James had an easy road to the finals, and this is what Lowe has to say about that. There is a price for signing LeBron. LeBron is going to upend your franchise, right? Like, a coach is probably going to get fired at some point. You're going to end up trading all your young players and draft picks for help to win now. But you know what? He gets you to the finals. He doesn't just make you a contender. You don't lose in the conference finals. You don't have a random second round blip in this. He gets you, yeah. Windhorse has written this a lot. There's a price, but in the end, he lifts everyone up. And what that really means is every single year you are going to be in the finals. This is 100% correct. PG and Kawhi had a stranglehold on the Denver series and they inexplicably lost. Although he's been the league MVP and dominating, Giannis also slipped in the playoffs. And with LeBron, that never happens. Look at how crazy this graphic looks. I have to admit, I also thought that this had a lot to do with playing in the East, but after going through the West and coming back to the finals, again, almost at 36 years of age as the primary guy, you just gotta give credit where credit is due. Anyway, we'll see how the game play out and even though the Lakers are now even bigger favorites with all the injuries they do still have to win this title first. I told you before the finals I love the heat but I feel like I had to make this video since I always try to be neutral and transparent and even though I don't like super teams when a player is half of that super team at age 36 I gotta tip my hat off to him. That's it for now subscribe and talk to you in the next one. Peace out.